Uh, well, it's understanding what you do on the golf course and uh, how you represented uh, the respective companies that when you're an endorsement related player. Uh, <clears throat> building value in somebody else's business, um, understanding what branding and marketing is all about. Uh, and it doesn't happen to that many people because your success on the golf course can be little or can be great. Um, but parlaying that understanding of that success um, and taking it to another level um, is unique in its own right. I became a living brand uh, to a degree. And um, so what do you do with that? Um, I knew I was never going to be a ceremonial golfer. I always wanted to take my skills from the golf course of learning to be the best I can be to take it off the golf course to be the best I could be. Um, and you know, the fact that I didn't want to be a ceremonial golfer has a lot to do with it. Um, I made a decision very early on in my career to figure out there's going to be a drop dead time or date where I wanted to move away from the golf course. Uh, but, but all in all, you're still following your instincts. And your instincts of what got you to be a, a, a good player or number one player in the world, those instincts of due diligence and, and, and understanding that the market you want to get into, um, does it fit your portfolio of branding and business and life? Um, a huge wealth of information comes flooding your way and you're the one who makes the final decision. Just like when you pull that club out of the bag and you've got to hit that shot, you're the one who makes the final decision. So all in all, my transition away from off the golf course to where I am in business was kind of, I don't want to say easy, but it was fairly seamless. Um, and you learn by your mistakes. You know, you, you've got to understand that people are going to throw a lot of stuff at you. Um, and you can pick the bad ones and you can pick the good ones. Um, but understand why you picked the bad one, what happened, what went wrong. Uh, was it your partner? Was it your joint venture? Was it marketing? Uh, was it the direction of the company? Was it the business plan? Was it the business model? Was it the product? Um, so you, you, you learn. You learn by your mistakes. And um, but, you know, the other th secret to business is understanding human resources, understanding the people you're with. Uh, Understanding that their belief or DNA in the product is exactly what you believe it is, um, then it's easy to sell. No, absolutely. I mean, people try to pay you a lot of money to get put a product or a name or your name on a product, that, but you see right through that very, very quickly. Um, you know, and I've, I'd be honest with you, I've been very lucky where I haven't fallen in that trap. Um, but you do get it coming across, across your table a lot. And um, you know, to this day, I don't think I have. Well, that's crucial. I mean, your chemistry is, is uh, uh, with the person you're going to work with. Um, you look, know, when somebody brings you a piece of paper or a business model and you sit down and you read it and you go, OK, it's like reading a script or reading a book. Ah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I like this book or I don't like this book, right? Um, somebody brings that business model to you and you read it and now all of a sudden, okay, you read it, oh, I, I can see that fits in within my portfolio of my company to a degree, but I might have to tweak it here or I might have to seek advice from guys in my office to see what would they do. And the next step is you've got to meet the person. Um, you know, well, actually, before that, you've probably got the product, if there is a product, then meet the person. Because if you really don't have the same chemistry and you don't have the same belief in the direction of where that company's going, then really not much point in doing it. Uh, integrity is high, your morals and your ethics. Um, it's how you deliver a message is if the follow through on the delivery of that message is crucial as far as I'm concerned, it's everything. No, it's not, it's, uh, it's an investment in a company. Um, and I believe in it. Uh, so with that, you go do your due diligence. And again, it was presented. Um, and uh, the opportunity was there. I see the, the, the viability and the, the success of the global growth of, this, uh, of Max. Um, I'm a global player. I'm a global business guy. Um, my, my introduction and um, entree into other parts of the world has been successful in a lot of things I've done. So I think there's a, there's a great opportunity for both parties um, to really grow this company on a global basis.
how many continents in the world? <laughs> we're everywhere. We really are. We're not in Antarctica. I've got to say that. We're not in the tundra of Canada. Uh, we're not in Siberia. Um, but you can pretty much go to every other continent around the world, and that's where we're at, which is great, you know. And um, I prided myself on in my golf career to be a global player, take the game of golf to everywhere around the world that I could possibly do. Uh, I was one of the few who could do it. Um, and at the end of the day, it parlays me into still wanting to do it the same with business. Because um, like I said before, the world is your royster. Well, look, you have the President of the United States, but he has a great team around him, right? Um, you, you, there's always the figurehead of the company. Um, by the end of the day, it's uh, the supporting roles of everybody behind you that, that, uh, that you need the support of. You need their advice, number one. You need them to, to A, give you their opinion whether you like it or not. Uh, I don't have a friendly board, um, which is you know, everybody agreeing with everything I say, because not everything I say is right. So you need the opinions of others. And you need the ability of people to source these type of opportunities and relationships and investment opportunities and growing business. Uh, so you need this, this team around you. And, and I'm very, very lucky. I mean, I've got a, a great group of people around me that for years and years, my attrition rate with the people who work for me is very, very low. So they understand my culture. They understand my DNA. They understand what I probably would like or what would get my attention. And it, Max products are exactly what you're looking for. I do, uh, because all the businesses that I have done, um, I build for a long-term view. Um, you know, everybody builds a business for an exit strategy. There's no question about it, because we all like to build a business for some exit. Uh, but at the same time, when I look back over the history of all the companies that I've either been associated with or still am involved with, they're long tenured associations. I'm talking one going back to 1976 that I'm still involved with. Um, so it's a, it's a huge responsibility in a lot of ways because at the end of the day, you've got to believe in that company long term, not just short term. And uh, so when I look at Max, I'm looking for this for long term because the world is our oyster at the end of the day. That's what it is. And just because you go to a country you can't speak the language, it doesn't mean that they don't understand what you're trying to get, what the message you're trying to give or the product you're trying to bring. There's a lot of hype out there. I mean, there's hype coming out of Washington, D.C. I don't care whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, right? There's hype. There's hype. Um, but if you have the pure science, then you don't need the hype because you have the backing of the, the best, the smartest people um, who've spent probably 25, 30, 40 years of their lives just focused on making somebody else's life better. I mean, that's a huge commitment in a lot of ways for that individual, that doctor, to be able to do that. And uh, when they do get it right, it's not just a couple of thousand people or a hundred thousand, it's millions and millions of people who benefit from it. And the responsibility of being involved with business is, okay, we all want to be successful in life. Uh, we want to be successful in business. But at the same time, the responsibility is not just for the individuals. It's, it's the supporting team of the family. You know, you'll have your spouse and you have your kids and then you got a house mortgage and you got a house payment and then you got a car mortgage and you got this, you got to buy groceries on there. So all of a sudden, the success of a company morphs out into not just yourself, but uh, you, know, you might have, let's just say you got 10 employees, really you're responsible for maybe 40 or 50 other individuals. So um, it's a huge task when you sit back and you look at it and something, somebody like a company like Max to what they do, not only just from the, the health and well-being of the individual, but for the, the fiscal safety net in a lot of ways that it gives to these individuals, whether it's from the Philippines or whether it's from Australia or whether it's here in the United States, is huge. And uh, look, I, in my business, I'm just not a, a sole income business, right? I just don't have one business that brings my money in. I have multitude of business that brings money in. Why can't it be that way for every other individual out there? I mean, they might have one job, the husband may work, the mother may work, the wife may work. Why not supplement that income with something else? 
And uh, to give that opportunity, Mac gives that opportunity to a lot of people, you know, maybe millions of people in the long run, uh, that they can have the quality of their life improved out of a product that they absolutely believe in. And believe me, these people wouldn't sell the product if they didn't believe in it. So they're their own testi testimonials. Uh, they'll get to stand up and tell their neighbor, hey, in four weeks you're going to feel fantastic if you take this. And it doesn't matter what it is. And I think that is, again, something that people overlook about the value of a really good business. And, and the value of a really good business is the business model and the product. Well, first of all, I'd say congratulations to all of you because if you're the one of the hundreds of thousands that are out there supporting the product, you're obviously a believer in it and you are the benefactors of the success of what this product and what Max represents on a global basis. But uh, it doesn't stop there. Uh, you've still got to spread the word. Uh, success only comes from growth and understanding of what it's all about. And, uh, you know, we can always go find the money to do it, but you've got to find the belief of where to put that money. So uh, to all of you, congratulations.